right, let's go to a story, folks, out of Los Angeles, which is a stunning one, and that is uh, Jasmine Koenig, a reporter there, is suing the police chief for wrongful arrest. She said they were, they, of course, at a protest when she was arrested by LAPD. Watch. Beck, your obsession with me is unhealthy. It is both <laughs> sad and unhealthy. It is costing the city of Los Angeles millions of dollars, not to mention doing nothing to aid in the fight against crime in Los Angeles. In closing, stop worrying about who is talking to me and worry about why they are talking to me. That is what you really need to be concerned about. That was Kana confronting LAPD Chief Charlie Beck over the summer. The lawsuit stems from her arrest in November of 2014 while at a protest for police brutality. While other reporters were allowed to leave after identifying themselves as journalists, they, they did not allow Koenig to leave. Earlier this month, she filed a lawsuit for false arrest, false imprisonment, malicious prosecution, and violations of her First Amendment rights. She joins us right now via Skype. Jasmine, um, what is, for, well, first and foremost, you, they, you had a protest. And did the police corral journalists? And but how all of a sudden did they arrest you? Well, I was following behind the protest. I mean, if you want to tell a story, as you know, Roland, you want to be in the middle of it. And there were thousands of people. This was, this was the third night of protesting, by the way, over the Mike Brown Ferguson situation. And there were thousands of people in the street. I was one of those thousands of people falling behind, trailing, doing tweeting, video, you know, talking to folks. And at one point, the LAPD, I guess, thought, we've had enough of this. This is the third night. And so they blocked a group of us in. And it was about maybe almost 200 people. And there were some photographers um, and other reporters that were in there as well. And I watched them identify themselves and be able to leave. So I said, well, let me go and do the same thing. And it was just like, uh-uh, you don't get to leave. And, you know, I as, as the night went on, I sort of realized once Chief Beck came on the scene, he was not too far from where I was at. I said, okay, this must be payback for all of the scandals that I've broken, all of the stories that have gotten him in a lot of trouble. And I ended up spending the night in jail. But I think what was the worst out of all of that, because I'd never been arrested before, never been searched like that um, or, or put in a cell, but was that afterwards, I was arrested for um, failure to disperse along with everyone else. There was, a, like I said, about 200 people. They then come back and say I was the leader of the protest and that I encouraged people to um, basically knock the police down, like, you know, cross their skirmish line. And they fabricated this whole entire story. And by the time it was time to pick the jury, because you know I wasn't going to cave in and take any sort of deal, they just, poof, dropped the case because they had no evidence whatsoever of that. So far, what has been their response? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it has, it, it, there's been no response that I know of, at least that my attorneys have, have told me of. I know I'm one of several people who are also um, suing the department based off of those protests and their actions in that protest. I think my case is slightly different because of my history of um, reporting on uh, the chief of police and uh, a few of uh, many scandals that have, have kind of gotten him in a little hot water, uh, to say the least. All right, then, Jasmine Kane, we surely appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Roland. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.